Folks, I am so excited about this package. All right, this, uh, this product was announced last year through Amazon only as, as a pre-order. And it was supposed to be released March 19th of this year. But due to coronavirus, uh, it was delayed and delayed indefinitely until further notice. However, you could place your order still for this product for the American version through Amazon Japan. Amazon Japan has them well in stock. So I ordered mine and I'm a little nervous because there is a sticker on the front that says received in damaged condition. So I'm hoping it's just the outside box. I mean, as you can see, it's, it's kind of beat up, but I'm hoping that the contents on the inside are, in, are still in great condition. So let's go ahead and dive on in. I am so excited about this product. Um, Oh gosh. Oh, this has got me so nervous because I, I really hope that it's not damaged and I don't have to uh, return it back to Japan, um, which is going to be kind of difficult for me anyway because <laughs> I don't read Japanese. I don't speak Japanese and I'm not fairly certain the return process would be very easy. I don't know. It could be. All right, but we got it open. Let's cross our fingers and hope that it is still in good condition. All right, I am not seeing any damage. But folks, what we have here is the Turbo Graphics Mini. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, so they, they sealed it. They put some protective board on the back. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and get this opened. Okay, so there is no damage to the box. Fantastic. There's a little tiny little ding right here on the corner. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can get the sticker removed because I sure don't, I for sure don't want that on there. But let's take a look on the inside. And I'm sure if you have seen any videos on YouTube already, people have been getting theirs in and um, there's been unboxing videos already, but I'm bringing you the experience right here. And for some reason, this thing is being a pain to come up. There we go. All right. So we've got it unboxed. Let's take a look on the inside. All right. So we've got the manual. Fantastic. And uh, it's going to be in, in several different languages, just your standard black or white manual. Then we've got the controller itself this comes with an eight foot long cord thank you konami thank you for giving us an extra long cord because i believe the the original turbo controller had a cord of three feet three or four feet it is usb um and you've got your standard you know turbo switches here You've got your select and run buttons here. Run uh, is your sa same as your start button. All right. Then we've got uh, micro USB. Am I correct? Or is it? Yes, micro USB cable for powering it. And then we've got the unit itself. It does come with an HDMI cable, fantastic. And then folks, here it is. You ready for this? I know I am. There it is. The TurboGrafx-16 Mini. All right, so, got your sticker on the back side. This part I know does pop up like that. 
So you've got your HDMI port here. And then under here, you've got your, um, your micro USB port for your charger. And you can route it through here or through the side over here. When you go to power it on, you'll notice right here in the tray bay that that little switch pops out. That was standard on the TurboGrafx-16 and that uh, kept your hue card from releasing or from being, being able to be pulled out during gameplay. So they kept that little aesthetic um, as authentic as they could. But as you can see, there's, there's nowhere for you to put your hue cards. Then you've got two USB ports for up to two players. This is fantastic. It's not that heavy. Um, it's about as light as, you know, the other mini consoles. Maybe a little bit heavier. But it looks fantastic. It just looks so good. I cannot wait to get this plugged in and give it a run through. I don't have a way of recording HDMI gameplay uh, like an Elgato capture card or anything like that. So I'll just be setting the camera up in front of the television and we'll take a look at it that way. All right, so we got Alien Crush, Blazing Lasers, Dungeon Explorer, Moto Rotor. We'll try to center this camera a little bit more. There we go. Got Power Golf, oh yeah, I'm super thrilled about that. R-Type, Fantastic Shooter, Victory Run, a Racing Game, Chu Man Fu, JJ and Jeff, Military Madness, Newtopia, Ninja Spirit, Psychosis, Space Harrier, Splatterhouse, Ease Book 1 and 2, Bonk's Revenge, No Bonk's Adventure, um, there is Bonk's Adventure, but it's on the PC Engine side. Uh, you don't need to know Japanese to play that game. Kadash, uh, Parasol Stars, Air Zonk, Utopia 2, New Adventure Island, Soldier Blade, Bomberman 93, Lords of Thunder, and then back to Alien Crush. There we are. I'm not going to be able to pronounce any of these. Uh, we'll just take a look through them. There's, well, there's Galaga 88. Okay. Fantasy Zone. Dragon Spirit. Uh, Nectarus. Dungeon Explorer. On the PC Engine. Okay. There's a Newtopia. And here's the uh, Bonk's Adventure I was telling you about. There's another Ease game. Super Darius. A lot of the shooter games, you're, go you're not going to need to know uh, Japanese for them. Uh, only the, uh, the RPGs, which really sucks that um, we didn't get an English translation. We'll go back to the Turbo Graphics side and let's just check out Alien Crush. Awesome little pinball game. We got the Hue card going in. Push run button, fast or slow, let's, let's do it fast. Lunar Eclipse or Demons Undulate. We'll do Demons. God, I've never played this before, so. Okay. All right. Um, not exactly sure how to get that left, that left one to Okay, there it is. Alright, yeah, I, I'm not good at this at all. That's cool, we'll figure it out. Got all the time in the world to get good.
pretty neat. Okay, now I guess we gotta fight a, a demon here. Sorry, you lost your bonus point. All right. So, uh, let's back out of that. We'll return to the menu. Let's check out another game. It's Blazing Lasers, Dungeon Explorer. Let's check out some R-Type. Never played this either. Alright, uh... But I am in for some shooters, yes. See if I can hit that turbo. Oh yeah, the turbo button works great. You just slide that turbo up and hold down the button, you're good to go. Never played this. Never played this. But I can already tell why. Well, it didn't last long on that one. Whoa, okay, game over. I can, t I can tell why people like this game though. All right, let's go back to the main menu and let's check out some bonks. Awesome little platformer here. I have played uh, bonks on the Game Boy, but have never played it on the Turbo Graphics. Uh, let's see, intermediate, four stage, expert, complete game. Okay, turn the turbo off. All right. All right. We're gonna go this way. All right. Go up. That says go right. Okay. Well, how do you get up there? Am I missing something here? <laughs> Don't know. I've never played this. Huh. Okay, I have no clue. Why like, there's nowhere else for me to jump. Seriously, like. Okay. Wow, okay, that took me a while to figure that out. Did not know I could jump into the waterfall. <laughs> Pretty cool. Thank you. 
Fantastic. But there you have it, folks. There is the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. And if you've enjoyed the content, by all means, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to hit the bell icon when you do so you receive all notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you are having a fantastic week. Stay safe. I'm Taddy Collector, and have a good one.